But ho, friends, so you're awake. Name's Horace. Welcome to the hidden village of Gardenton. Gardenton? That wasn't on any map. We don't like drawing attention to our little slice of paradise. A place where every frog is a highly skilled horticulturist. Our plants are treated with the love and respect they deserve. I don't believe it. This place is full of frogs just like me. Oh, do I sense a fellow plantophile? Guess who has two green thumbs and loves the smell of fertilizer? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> clever, clever. You do have the thumbs. A village of horticulturalists? Now we're talking. Let's recruit them. I'll take point. I don't know, HP. Does the Resistance really need plant people? Yeah, the last village made catapults. I don't exactly think horticulture. I'm doing it. Horace, my friend, we got a proposal, and as head of this town, I think you're gonna wanna hear it. Oh, I'm afraid I'm not the head of this community. Oh, well, can you take us to your leader? But of course. Follow me to the greenhouse. Say, Horace, have you seen our snail or, or wagon? They've been stored safely. Now, come along. <laughs> I'm officially creeped out. Horace, this place is incredible. These parsnips are prodigious. Ghost orchids? The balance of heat and humidity must be perfect. And this, this is just a big cucumber. I'm glad you like it. But it wasn't always like this. In fact, the land before you used to be barren and lifeless. But then he appeared. And with his guidance, we were able to become one with nature. Whoopsie Daisy. Uh, is it insensitive if I say this feels like an overreaction? Please, guests, be careful. These plants are as much members of our community as we are. My apologies, Horace. Some of us don't respect nature. Be the mayor. Put her there. <clears throat> not a toucher, eh? That's okay. Not everyone is. <clears throat> uh, we'd be mighty obliged if you and your green fingered friends joined our little resistance. We've got hydroponics like you wouldn't believe. Uh, we also have casual Fridays and bagel Tuesdays. Kids, am I forgetting anything? Hey, is this guy asleep or something? Oh, oh my, my god! god! Is and Hopadiah Planter. <gasps> Jeremy the Beetle? No, up here, you idiot. It's me, Apothecary Gary. Apothecary Gary? Zombies! <laughs> Guess those muscles were just for show. I, I don't understand. You're extinct. I saw to it myself. I nearly was, but thanks to Jeremy here, I was able to survive and make my way out of Wartwood. Problem was, I was weak and needed to find a place to regrow my strength. It's a harsh world out there for a little Spore and his beetle host. Then I was taken in by these folks, and together we formed a true symbiotic relationship. You see, these frogs wanted my spores because it made them better gardeners. It wasn't mind control. Not this time, really. And with this power, we turned garden ten into a paradise. I've never had willing subjects before. And let me tell you, it makes a big difference. With Gary Spores, we can feel the very needs of the plants we cultivate. We're one with nature. It's perfect harmony. Perfect harmony. Well, this has all been very educational. Kids now! Ah! Ah! 